Authority. As the pandemic continues, every aspect of life is changing, including the way we find and celebrate love. As KBJR 6's CeCe Gaines found out, the year of the micro wedding may be love's saving grace. First comes love, then comes marriage. But during our global pandemic, some couples have been forced to completely cancel their wedding, leaving local event planners struggling. We saw our you know, revenues drop by 90% in the beginning of the summer. Other couples chose to tie the knot regardless of the pandemic. That's where Northland Special Events comes in. The wedding and event planning service has been coordinating Northland nuptials for 10 years now. As the pandemic rages on, owner Mariah McKechnie says she's had to breathe new life into her wedding business. We had to have a real pause and think about the future. Um, what are we going to do? Wedding planners across the country went to work, creating a ceremony that aligned with state COVID regulations. That's when 2020 became the year of the micro wedding. We're talking under 20 people, um, nearest and dearest family, and uh, keep it really personal, beautiful, and intimate. And honestly, it's been one of the best things I've seen happen to weddings in my career. Third weekend in October, we had a snowstorm unexpectedly the morning, uh, Saturday morning, and the couple was super flexible and excited about an adventure. That adventure brought Ashley and Corey Bossar to Chester Park here in Duluth, saying I do in front of 15 family members. You know, having the micro wedding with just, um, you know, the family there was uh, just a lot more intimate, and, um, you know, you felt like you really got to spend some time with, with your family. Everything went so smoothly. And then when we got the pictures back to it, just looked like a snow globe. <laughs> the couple planned a much larger wedding, looking to celebrate their love with 200 people. When their venue placed COVID restrictions on their big day, they turned to Northland special events to make their dreams a reality. Never, it never fails to just make me think like, how lucky am I that they let me be here today and trusted me to actually make it happen. Are micro weddings the future of the wedding industry? McKechnie says no, but she thinks they are here to stay as a popular option. Maybe this is what you were supposed to do and do something small. You don't have to feel tied to the larger wedding. Love continues. Love doesn't stop and there are ways to celebrate that. It was just beautiful and congrats to the happy couple. And for the latest information on COVID-19 wedding restrictions in Minnesota and Wisconsin, head to our website, kbjr6.com.